Hello everyone, this is Chuck Roscoe, VP of Operations over here at Cyber Corporation, and I'm joined with Ken Hunter, Senior Technical Support Representative. Pretty pretty long title, we like to just call him Ken. <laughs> we call him Ken, many Hi, of you everyone. may know him. Hey. Um, we're just going to wait another minute or so, wait for some other folks to join, but I appreciate uh, everyone taking a little bit of time out of their day to join us on how Manhattan Associates users, WMI, WMOS, uh, can use Mark Magic for some things that you may not know uh, you can use Mark Magic for. And we're going to really kind of focus on the ability to create forms, all types of forms, and the ability to create output as, instead of just printed stuff, but as an Adobe PDF file so it could be emailed and archived. Um, so like I said, I'll just go ahead and wait another moment. Um, before we start, uh, as we wait, please keep in mind uh, you folks are muted. Uh, we're approaching about 100 or so uh, attendees here, so we can't have you all talk at the same time. Um, but please feel free to use the questions option. You should see that in the, well, the GoToWebinar uh, task menu. Uh, you can ask us questions, and hopefully we'll have some time at the end. We'll be able to answer those questions, and if we don't answer them during the webinar, we'll certainly get back to you uh, right afterwards um, with the answers to those. So don't be shy, and you can always email us and all that stuff as well. So, all right, well, why don't we get started? And it's going to be kind of short and snappy. That's the way uh, Ken and I like to do these webinars. We may do it in under 30 minutes. So, I mean, a 40 minute is kind of our max. Um, so. Uh, stay with us, please. We're going to try to keep it uh, as informative as possible. The agenda is really covering just kind of three topics. Uh, what are what are forms and formats and how do you design them? Uh, what that looks like. E-commerce within Mark Magic, and that could be like collate forms for e-commerce. It could be uh, other types of forms and how Mark Magic can create all that stuff. And of course, uh, the ability to create output as a PDF. So we're trying to keep it simple. And some of this... Uh, so, so, some of the, some of these topics were kind of come up um, or came up when uh, Aaron Kennedy and myself were actually down at the Momentum Show last month. Uh, it was a great meeting uh, and seeing some old friends, um, and they kind of it occurred to us like, wow, you know, it's, a lot of people know us. Obviously, you can do all this label printing with Mark Magic, but on this form side, um, you know, some accounts, uh, some folks weren't completely aware. So that's that's what the little brainstorm of this uh, this webinar is today. So. Also, any questions you may have, if you don't know your account rep, you can always email sales at cyber.com and they will get back to you or get the right resources here at Cyber back to you as quickly as possible. Okay, so I have all about three more slides uh, that will just go through each of these topics a little bit more in depth. And then I'm going to hand it over to Ken Hunter, who's going to show you some of this uh, live within the Mark Magic, J Magic interface. Okay, so first, just to kind of level set things. I think everyone is comfortable with a hip, you know, hey, Mark Magic, you know, Manhattan Associates for heck, 20 some odd years has integrated Mark Magic within WM um, for label printing, and they have close to 300 different formats within WMI and about 150 within WMOS. Some of these may look familiar off to the right. That you guys that are printed every single day, a number of uh, accounts don't necessarily even know that Mark Magic is doing that or what's on their system already. Um, so that's what we want to kind of show you, some of the other pieces of Mark Magic. You folks use about like 20% of the actual product. So great. So here's label printing. Here's the J Magic designer. You can make changes to labels and all that stuff, make new labels, and that's all fine. So what are we going to get into today? So transitioning from labels, you can also use forms. And, and you'll see here this Walmart uh, collate is in JMagic also. It doesn't matter um, if it's a label or a form within Mark Magic. And in fact, we use the terms labels and forms. Um, they're really just a format as far as we're concerned. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a four by six inch label or eight and a half by 11 form or a legal size form piece of paper. It all boils down to one important thing and that is the print driver within Mark Magic. Uh, Mark Magic supports over 400 printer types. Most of you are very familiar with the on the labeling side. It's uh, a lot of times it's a Zebra or it could be a Datamax printer or Avery Dennison. We also support uh, HP PCL5, super common laser language. All the different uh, manufacturers out there support them. 
We support uh, PCL 5C for color, so you can have color output. And all these drivers and all everything we're showing you is already installed on your system right now. So um, right after this webinar, you can go in there and play around and create forms and, 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 and do some of the things that Ken's going to be showing you. Uh, if you have any questions on that, give us a call. So other types of output other than just collates like this, um, VIX bill of lading. MarkMagic supports all this. In fact, a number of these formats are actually already defined within WM. Um, and also, of course, packing, packing slips and, and so on. So those are examples of forms that tons of customers use MarkMagic for. We want to make sure everyone here on this call is aware you can, that you can do this type of thing as well. So my last slide uh, revolves about regarding PDF. So a lot of us think of, hey, I get a, my invoice, hey, even from Cyber, we send them out. I, believe it or not, we use Mark Magic to create our invoices and statements. And we, instead of printing them out and sticking them in an envelope, we'll you know, PDF and email them right out, of our, right out of our system. You folks can do that too. Um, one of the things we've learned over the years is it's more than just you know, AR type forms that customers will use Mark Magic to PDF. Even item labels, um, compliant or, or labels such as this, anything defined in Mark Magic, and think about this for a second. Any of the, the, the labels you're printing, it may be to your Zebra printer, you're doing a wave of labels, right? You're printing them out. Maybe they need to be printed out overseas. Maybe they, they need them in, uh, you know, in the Far East. Now they could connect a printer over the internet to your server here in the States, and you can print them out. You may lose connection, you may not. Um, another option is to say, you know what, Mark Magic, don't print this out to a printer or to an out queue. Actually, print it as a PDF. So Mark Magic is smart. It's like, okay, so it just creates a maybe a thousand-page PDF file, Adobe PDF file that we're all used to, that you could then email or give access to to other folks overseas, and then they can use a Windows driver or other uh, uh, ways to then print that out on any printer they want over there. And of course, since it's, it's an Adobe PDF, you can do from too. They can look at the label or the form before they print it. Um, so we have a number of accounts that actually do that, and it works out great. Okay, um, I think that's all I wanted to cover. I'm going to hand this over to Mr. Hunter, who is going to show us some of this in a live environment. And please remember, feel free to, uh, to ask some questions. We'll see if we can get to them. All right, thanks, Chuck. I should be able to see my desktop right now. I've got my JMagic sign-on screen here. Uh, we're going to log on to uh, my AS400, uh, but just to let you know, this same JMagic could also hook up to our MarkMagic uh, PI interface uh, or platform independent or for those on the uh, WMOS system. Uh, it's, the, it's the same JMagic, so everything I'm going to show you here uh, today uh, in the forums uh, is going to, is, can also be uh, directed towards the WMI or the WMOS side of things. Uh, so I'm going to sign on to JMagic to my uh, AS400 here. And since we're connecting to AS400 and we're talking about forms today, uh, we're going to be just looking at uh, a format that is designed to pull data from a held spool file. Uh, I've got a handful of spool files that were sent to me uh, from a Manhattan customer uh, that they've designed some forms around and I'd like to show that to you today. So uh, I've got a user library that I've got a bunch of demo stuff in called Webinar. Uh, when you start your JMagic up, uh, you would be starting up in your own uh, user library, your own PKMS user library, but uh, we'll start JMagic in my webinar library. Mm -hmm. Maximize this. Uh, and I'm just going to go right open the format here. I've got some formats already designed ahead of time. Uh, there's a format called GDPIC that I'd like to open. And uh, like Chuck mentioned before, uh, some of you, most of you, hopefully already using JMagic to do uh, labels design in JMagic. And when you've opened your formats there, you've found your ZTZ140XI12 for Zebra. I'm sure that's rolls off your tongue for all you Zebra users in MarkMagic. That's a very popular Zebra driver. Uh, in MarkMagic here, when you want to print to a laser printer, it's simply just choosing a different printer type when you create your format. Uh, here we have HP PCL5. So that's our laser printer driver in MarkMagic. You already have it. It comes with MarkMagic. There's no 
needing to download an extra laser driver and install it to Mark 